Hey beloveds, welcome to Beanie TV where I offer you sprinkles of spiritual sassiness. So let's get into today's affirmation. Go ahead and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. My body is a temple and I treat it as such. My body is a temple and I treat it as such. My body is a temple and I treat it as such. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. Exhale. Hey guys, so welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. And if you are not new to my channel, welcome back. So today we're gonna talk about why organic deodorants give you a rash. Like, that's kinda nasty. That's kinda gross. And you guys know, I have been on the natural organic journey since 2012 2013 on and off the first natural deodorant i ever tried was tom's for me tom's did not work it was not strong enough and it made me go right back to aluminum based deodorants and then i tried arm and hammer they have this arm and hammer fresh it's supposed to be natural but honestly i don't think it is but it does work but i don't think it's natural so i've been telling my friends and family look we gotta kick that aluminum based habit now um in the past if i was going to coachella or if i was traveling i would definitely use aluminum based deodorant because nobody wants to like be lifting up their arms for like radiohead and then everyone around you faints because you smell so bad so um but i've just stopped i'm either not wearing deodorant nowadays or i'm committed to my organic natural deodorants now let me tell you guys a story so Okay, but you guys know, right? You guys know that aluminum-based deodorants, aluminum has been found in tissues of breast cancer, and aluminum is a foreign object to the human body and literally clogs up our lymph nodes and, and, and just sits in our body, causing disruption in our cells. That's why you shouldn't be using aluminum-based deodorants. So, but I know it's tough. I know it's tough to transition because you guys are worried about the smell. You're, you're smelling. You're worried about all this stuff. But I have another, I think I have another video where I talk about detoxing your underarms using Aztec healing clay or, or uh, oh, how do you pronounce it? Bentonite clay. I think it's called. Using that under your armpits to just extract all the extra gook that's been sitting up there. Doing that once a week and using lime just cutting a piece of lime, cutting a piece of lemon wedge, using it either before you go to sleep or in the shower, after the shower, that's going to clean you right up, especially lime. Ooh, lime has saved me a ton of times. So anyway, so go ahead and watch that video. Um, make sure that when you are transitioning from aluminum based to natural deodorants that you are detoxing, use again, using Aztec healing clay and using lemon and lime because your body is going to be detoxing. It's going to be like, okay, what's going on? Where's all the aluminum? what's going on so it's going to be natural you're going to naturally just be excreting smells and everything like that and um also something that i learned while i was in college was that our body is covered in microorganisms and these organisms basically they little little bugs and when they're eating the sweat the water that comes from our underarms they're literally eating it and then they're taking a shit on us they are taking a shit on our armpits and that's where the smell comes from so again lemon and lime is going to save your life so let's get into why i got a rash this summer from my organic deodorant so i was working at a like pop-up shop and they had like these products um these natural organic products and then they were giving them to us for free so i was like oh my god like new deodorant what's up what's good so I used it and I was like, okay, okay. And then one of my coworkers, I used it for about a week. My coworker came up to me. He was like, oh my God, Abina, I got a huge rash and it was flaky under my underarms. I was like, oh my God, you must have had a reaction to either the arrowroot powder or the um, the baking soda. And he just stopped. I told him, use the acid healing clay and you'll be good as new. And then he did and he was good. So I didn't have any issues. I was using that deodorant for like six weeks. All of a sudden, my lymph nodes underneath my armpits were so sensitive and I looked at my underarm and it was so dark under here and it was a flaky rash I was so in I was in so much pain and I was so upset because I was just like 
I'm always talking about natural organic deodorants and it's crazy because the person that made the deodorant I met her and I was like oh my god your deodorant works so well I wish I could take those words back because that deodorant really messed me up so what I'm understanding for me and my body as well as other people that I've talked to this about is it's the it might be the arrowroot powder I think sometimes some brands put way too much arrowroot in the powder in the deodorant and also baking soda uh, one time guys I tried to make my own deodorant I used too much baking soda my armpits got an itchy reaction from the baking soda so it's 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 finding that perfect balance excuse me where you don't you won't get your pores because at the end of the day like your pores are still gonna get clogged up they're just not getting clogged up by some like aluminum they're gonna just be a little bit clogged up so I think that's what causes the rashes and the reactions and the sensitive lymph nodes so um, I've switched my deodorants a few times like I used to use crystal essence and that worked amazing for me but then my body kind of just started rejecting it so I think I might actually have to try to go back and see like if I can try to use it again but I used um, Schmitz I used Schmitz um, it was the bergamot and lime I used that for about two weeks and then my lymph nodes started getting sensitive so I emailed them and I said hey guys you know um, this didn't work for me um, I'm sorry to like email you about this and then they sent me a uh, one for sensitive underarms let me grab it really quick so they actually sent me this one the tea tree one for its sensitive skin formula so when you're getting organic and natural deodorants try to go for the sensitive skin one now the another trick is to just use the right amount you know how organic deodorants you just be like Prr you can't do that with organic natural deodorants you can't do it you got it a little bit goes a long way so I noticed when I even put too much of this on then my armpits start feeling a little funny and really my armpits the only reason why my armpits are starting to feel a little bit funny is because I had that reaction to that one deodorant last summer and it just kind of like messed me up so um, a little bit goes a long way so if you are gonna use Schmitz a little bit goes a long way but my new boo my new go-to is a UK based natural deodorant um, called organic Elsa's that is my new go-to so um, definitely follow them on Instagram I'm gonna be doing a giveaway of this pretty soon you'll find more information about this deodorant on my Instagram at beanie TV and I'll be able to give you guys more info and yes I will be giving one of these away so stay tuned and be sure to follow me on Instagram so again the reason why you might be getting a rash under your underarms from organic and natural deodorant is mostly because of the powder it's either too much baking soda too much arrowroot and I'm sorry guys but if you want to be healthy and you want to make sure that you are not susceptible to Alzheimer's or breast cancer or or any of the other things that aluminum causes you are going to have to trial and error organic and natural deodorants that's just what it is people have different formulas for me, what worked really well for me was Primal Pit Paste. The only thing, and you can get it at Whole Foods and Amazon, the only thing is that you have to scoop your hands in it and then put it under. And I'm just like, hmm, I didn't mind it, but I was like, oh, this is kind of tedious. But um, for, for Elsa's, they do recommend just using a pea-sized amount. So guys, when you are using your organic natural deodorants, a little bit goes a long way. So let me know in the comments below if you have dealt with getting a rash from your organic deodorant and um, what different brands do you use and if you have any questions about how to make the rash go away or anything like that or, or your natural deodorant um, journey please feel free to comment below I'm here for you I'm here to support you because um, I know it's been tough for me ever since I got that rash back in the summertime it's been super tough for me and I've gone through like a few deodorants but I'm pretty happy right now with learning the amount that my body needs and do these organic uh, do these or deodorants work yes they do some days I'm for me it's the nervous sweat I'm not sweating when I'm home I'm not sweating when I'm it just depends on the environment so if I'm nervous sweating like I can start to like smell a little satin and then I have to like go and like reapply but again 
it's a balance and you just got to find what your body needs and what works well with your body some people don't have issues with organic donuts and they're good to go but some of us got a got a damn rash in the summertime and was flaking and it was gross and disgusting sorry my camera's like out of focus but um yeah i thank you guys for tuning in if you have questions concerns or comments be sure to subscribe below be sure to look out for my giveaway with elsa organic and be sure to follow them on instagram and follow me i thank you guys for tuning in and i'll see you guys next video